Words of wisdom by Eric. Why, why is swearing associated with the French? Because it makes them feel fancier. Is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, it's like, pardon my French is a term used to express apologies for swearing. But I just find it really weird. W what did the French do? <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Immature Hour Podcast. I am Mark. I'm Tiffany. I'm Eric. And we're here to talk about stuff and things that happened over the week. You know what's one thing we didn't we forgot to do from last week? We forgot to call between five and six o'clock. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. I <laughs> I, I checked it online, though, and apparently, like, there's, it, it's just, yeah, it was just a thing. It's just a thing? Yeah, it's just a thing. Well, so, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tiffany, how was your week? It's been good. Very good. Very good. Anything I, Anything exciting happen? Not really. I mean, I got drunk at Golf Brew. <laughs> oh, hell <laughs> exciting. For, uh, All the samples. <laughs> All the, I tried every single beer Louisiana has to offer in eight ounce cups. I know they were like three to four ounce cups. They only gave you a smidget. Are you a beer person? I'm starting to get there. Ooh, like see, for me, like beer is just. Ugh. Whenever people say it's an acquired taste, that tells me that you suffered through a lot of beer to get to the point where you said, you know what, this is okay. Like, but I can't do the, like, the Budweiser or the Michelob or anything. No, it has to be craft. So I have, it has to be, like, a lager or a golden ale or, um, oh, well, I can't. See, this is how little I drink because you it, said craft and I thought the macaroni company. <laughs> oh, craft macaroni <laughs> nope, and sorry, cheese. But I can yeah. go for some macaroni now. Yeah, I could go for macaroni always. <laughs> macaroni. You guys have, ever you guys had, like, like, the little, little triangle things that was like squared macaroni fried like it's fried macaroni shapes, mark you gotta slow down <laughs> like little, 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 little triangle things little triangle cuts that has like macaroni inside and it's breaded fried and it's fried macaroni and cheese oh i've never seen that before oh my really? god mm -hmm. at every fair ever Oh, that, there's the problem. That's why. <laughs> <Here's, here's, laughs> the, the, the amount of fairs that I've been to is really saddening. <laughs> yeah, you get, your, you get your fried mac and cheese and you get your funnel cakes. Like, come on now. That sounds amazing. It is delicious. Funnel cakes are Maybe amazing. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll live. Yeah. I want to try fried butter. Ooh. I really just, I want to mm. make Paula Deen proud. <laughs> you do know they fry a whole stick of butter, right? Mm-hmm. Can you get through a whole stick of butter? I, look, I just want to bite. I just want to say that I've tried it and then immediately go into cardiac well, that's, arrest. That's exactly what Ooh. happened with me in the Sonic Reaper margarita thing. <laughs> Which they're still advertising. There's that uh, laugh you always test. Okay, so <laughs> so the Sonic margarita, the Reaper Sonic margarita, it's uh, it's good for like 10 sips. Mm -mm. I'm going to stop you at two. No, two it, sips. No, it was, it was good for like ten sips. Then after like ten sips, you're like, wait, this thing is no, like the heat was there at the very end of it, but then it's like there was nothing refreshing about it. Come the, to find out, you can't get it without the Reaper pepper. Oh damn it! But it also, it's just the limeade with the Reaper stuff in it. Yeah. So I'm like, why didn't I just get a limeade instead? It's an excellent yep. question. Because literally, the first sip is, oh, wow, this is so wacky. This is interesting. And then the second sip is, this is, no. Like, why would you drink a whole thing of this? Did you try this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I yeah. just I, ha yeah. I saw it today. I can't you think I'm just talking shit about <laughs> I mean, stuff I don't know about. <laughs> Please. I'm just, just making sure. I walk the walk, Tiffany. <laughs> um, But yeah, that, that drink sucks. Yeah, it was. It, it, was, it uh, sounds I terrible. Like, it was better when you eat food with it mm -hmm. because it adds the spice to the food you're eating. So it's like, ah, okay. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the Sonic Burger tasted better, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that, it added that, a little spice to the Sonic Burger. It did add a little, yeah. little, 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 uh, you know, just yeah, <laughs> uh, whatever that is. Speaking of Comic Con, Mark, you want to. <laughs> 
Nice segue. Yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you are from around this area, but or have you heard of a thing called San Diego Comic Con? If you have, then you do know that it was this past weekend, and they had some different things released and stuff, and awesomeness and graziness and. One thing, a couple things we're going to talk about because we love video games is Marvel brought their games to Comic Con this weekend, which I I don't really have them ever remembering bringing video games to Comic Con. So not usually, no, no. no. it's a rarity. Um, I'll start start with like one of their smaller titles. Oh, not smaller titles. It was one that just released was the um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance three. Oh, they, they show actually, that off. They show they show that off, but they also like announce like Loki's a playable character. Oh, okay. These people are playable characters. I think what oh, Cyclops so the is the DLC someone else? stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was like the DLC stuff. They kind of announced their D- the Dark Order DLC, um, something like a, the X Men DLC, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff to add to it. Um, they kind of showed gameplay, which looks like every other Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. But they're so good. They're so much fun. They're really fun to play with friends. I still have Ultimate Alliance 2 in my 360. It's, it's superhero Diablo. It is. For the most part. Like, I mean, like, it's less of a dungeon crawler than it is like a... Like, you're not getting, like, loot and stuff, but you're still... It's got the same, like, attack mm-hmm. kind of stuff going on. It's always really cool to play as the Hulk. The more that I think up. about it, the more it's not Diablo. <laughs> 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 was like, you had me there, I said Eric. it. And then I was like, well, no, it's not like this. It's not, you know. No. <laughs> Other than the, the maybe like the the top down view. It's more it's... like Rampage. <laughs> not Rampage. It's more like a Gauntlet. Like it's... Gauntlet for 64. It's more like Gauntlet for 64 than it is Diablo. It's like these games, but not. <laughs> <laughs> that was that in a nutshell. Yeah, Jesus. but I'm, I, I... I want to buy it because I love the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, Mm -hmm. but in the same instance, I want to be able to play it with friends and the fact that it's only going to be on the Switch. Very interesting that they only made it for the Switch. Yeah, it's like, that's like perfect for like, like a PS4 online, but like Switch, I I get it, but I don't. I, I think it, I, I think it's cool that Nintendo was able to grab that exclusive, but it's still just weird that. Nintendo Marvel Ultimate it. Alliance is an exclusive for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I, I thought that was I weird guess... too. Is it like a timed exclusive or I don't know. Is it, that I don't, gonna be that's, it? All all I know is as for right now, it's just a Switch exclusive. Which that's means so it was crazy. made for the Switch, which means it shouldn't be too hard to port out for different systems. Yeah, not really. Since like usually it takes more time to port things out for PS4 to Switch than from Switch to PS4. Mm-hmm. Um But I'm interested to see how it'll play on that light. Because if it's oh, buggy yeah. on the regular one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That one. Then uh, the other one, which is, I know you love VR. Mm, You're a I V. Love you love you some, some VR. VR. I do. Uh, they, uh, Marvel is doing a Marvel Iron Man VR. I did see that. I didn't see. Did they show like gameplay? They showed. So they showed this thing of the, it was kind of like the development of flying for the game. Okay. And in there they showed gameplay. Okay. So like when you put it on. You, you're putting on like Iron Man's helmet mm-hmm. and so you have the heads up display but but do we have Jarvis or do we have Friday uh, they didn't really they say didn't... that Ooh, that is an important question though. it is <laughs> that is I, if, if they I think they're probably going to do they might do Jarvis they might do Friday or they might just do some robotic thing because it's not technically supposed to be MCU okay really no hmm. ne- none of the I games are okay but um, you can't really be Iron Man without your AI with you no yeah, that's true. Which yeah, you'll probably I'm, have an AI, but I, they might do Jarvis. They might do Friday. Mm-hmm. They might do Edith. Who knows? Um, but um, so the cool thing in it is the way that you fly, right? <laughs> so like they spent a lot of time working with the controllers to make you have to like figure out the balancing with the oh, hands for that's hovering awesome. and like figuring the boost out properly. Oh. And they spent time making sure that you felt like you were Iron Man. Yeah, y'all can expect a video of me playing that for sure. Oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> sold. Are you going to turn off training mode if oh, they have one? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll probably play training mode off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Be Spider-Man in a nutshell. Oh, man. The, so the other day, I bought this VR game, and uh, there was... There was, there was I think it's, it's called Sirento, and there's a lot of options for like immersion and stuff like mm-hmm. that. The thing about VR is... In order to have more immersion, you have to take 
off more features that keep you from getting nauseated. So I turned off all of those features. I wanted to say, I was like, oh, I want to be like, I want to be like cool samurai warrior doing flips and shit. Terrible idea. Oh I got God. sick <laughs> so fast. It was insane how fast I got nauseous. I was like, uh-uh, nope. Okay, there's a reason why this stuff is in play. Because I, I don't know how people use VR. Like, you, you see, you know, you've seen a lot of VR games where, like, when you rotate the camera, it does, like, a snap rotate. Like, it just, it snaps in, like, 45 degree increments or mm-hmm. 90 degree or whatever. Yeah. Um, but some people play without that. So it's just, just, like, smooth turning, like a regular game. But, like, having the smooth turning and that's just, like, in your face. Uh-uh. I couldn't do it, man. It was well, driving. It's like, that's what, that's, there you go back to, the, you know, with the Iron Man. It is very smooth turn. Like, mm-hmm. everything looks very smooth on it. I hope. Well, that's almost like Pandora and stuff at, it's not VR, but, like, at Disney. I've never ridden the Pandora. Oh, my God. That wasn't there when I lived there. So, is it's the Avatar thing? Yeah, it's the okay. Avatar. It's, like, really in your face and you're on a bike and it you have special goggles for it but like when you like there's not like you turn you can see other people but it's like a, a curved screen to where you're full almost fully immersed into it oh that's mm, cool okay. and you get like the smells and everything too also that 4d shit yeah cool yeah if we're gonna have the simpsons ride i remember the going on the simpsons ride at universal and the simpsons ride at universal was like that it was the old back to the future ride so yeah. it's the big big curved screen and you're all in these little cars but all these cars pop out and like if you look to the side <laughs> you see other people's little uh-huh. cars and That's stuff. Neat. I've never done like a 4D ride or anything like that. Oh, They're you fun. definitely need to. Yeah. Yes. If you love VR but, as much yeah. as you do. Man, I haven't been to fairs. I haven't done a 4D. Man, my life sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to make Eric's bucket list. Yeah, now. right. Yeah. <laughs> got to get him some fried cheese. <laughs> so, so, yeah. butter. <laughs> some so, fried butter. Um, no, back to the, back to the, the VR. Um, I'm interested to see how it's going to go. I'm interested to see how that game's going to be. I think that'd be a great Article 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, oh. I love games that are... I, I love the VR games that are not shoehorned in. Like, the ones that, like... Like, the there's a Spider-Man VR experience that came out recently. And it's cool, but it's very clearly, like, rushed. And there's just, you know, to be a tie-in. I, I think the VR games that people take time to, like, really have, like, a cool mechanic with end up turning out really neat. Um, uh... So yeah, the idea, the fact that they like spent all that time working on the propulsion system and making sure like flying feels like that that makes me really excited. Yeah, that, that, that was like one thing they said. It's like if if we're going to do an Iron Man game, like, like the guys in the videos, if we're going to do an Iron Man game, we have to have the flying mechanic. Oh yeah, be yeah. perfect. It can't be crap. So you know? did they announce what their like what kind of VR system they're putting it on? PS4, or? PS4 VR. So was it just PS4? Just PS4. Wow. Okay. It was just it. All all they did was show just. Everything was PlayStation put out the videos for it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's all I saw. And it, that's the stuff directly from the Marvel website. Well, that's cool. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, you'll be, you'll be able to play it. Sony and their Marvel superhero exclusives, man. <laughs> well, well, I'll, we'll say the Avengers game, which we're about to get into. I just read it's going to be on all systems. Yes. Yes. I, that I read that true. too. Yep. Um, maybe that's reasons why it looks kind of crappy. I'm, um, I'm so puzzled about Oh, see, you and I are different on what we saw at well, Comic Con. So I watched it a second time. I guess we're gonna dive into it. Okay, so, so, I mean, I saw a ceiling half of the gameplay. So, <laughs> so, I mean, so Eric, if you want to introduce what we're about to talk about. Oh yeah. So um, at Comic Con, they showed off to uh, the during the panel they showed off uh, secret game. Yeah, they showed off gameplay footage that they're gonna be showing off in September at Gamescom. Like to the public, mm-hmm. somebody recorded with their cell phone the gameplay footage and put it up on the internet. Before we get into the footage itself, it really puzzles me that they were going to wait till September to show off the thing that everybody is really wanting to see. But like, they showed it off to everyone who showed up at, at Comic Con. I, I think that kind of like weird exclusivity stuff is odd when you're trying to sell a game to people. Like, if you have that gameplay footage ready, and you could show to the public, but you're going to wait, I don't understand what that's about. Well, because they well, know they know at E3 they got a bad reception that, of what, well, what they were shown. So that's kind of what Comic-Con is, though. Like, Comic-Con, you go to it for that exclusivity. Like, you get to see that scene 
a year earlier than everybody else, you know? And that's kind of like what Comic-Con's thing shtick is. Mm -hmm. And so that's probably what they're going in there with. Cause there's from another conference they did, there was, there was a lot of stuff you didn't get to see. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that that's where it's kind of like I can see why they did it, mm -hmm. but I also see your point of view, of yeah. like yeah you had kind of a bad reception, right? At you had a bad reception at E three like people were excited but they're they're excited and bewildered. And yeah, like I think I think it's one of those things that like a company should play by ear. Like yeah. if you see like if you see that what you showed off at something to the public and people aren't receiving it well because the majority of the comments are. I don't know what the gameplay is like. I don't know how this plays at all. And then you have footage that you could show so that people understand like what's going on um, and get like a sense of what the gameplay is like. But then you're just holding off to it for like several months. Um, but you still show it at like all these other little... Like they showed it privately at E3 and then they showed it at Comic-Con. Well, that's... It's Square Enix too. You have to remember that. Because we, we had... The Sorry. release date for Kingdom Hearts 3 show up at the orchestra before it even showed up. You're right. So, and then we had gameplay or something, some kind of footage for, I think, Final Fantasy, the Final Seven. Fantasy 7 remake show up at another orchestra before it showed up at the big gaming convention. Yeah, I've always it's, thought that's fucking dumb. It's Square <laughs> Enix's and, and, and thing. Yeah, it's like, well, also another thing is also you have to see who's also connected to it, which is Marvel. So and like, Crystal Dynamics. And Crystal Dynamics. So it's like, it could be like, people who are paying the people to make this game mm -hmm. could be saying no we're doing this you know so it could yeah. it, it I, I, yeah, I thought I, there I, I thought I, honestly i thought they were going to show that footage at d at d23 no oh, yeah i would have mm -hmm. thought so too um because that to me that would be like the place for me that would be the place disney would want to do that mm -hmm. um <clears throat> but what'd you what did you think of the gameplay footage my favorite part was the hulk Really? Yeah, I thought the Hulk bit was fucking awesome. Like he looked like he was just like ragdolling enemies and stuff. <laughs> it, like, it was really interesting to watch. Captain America was also really cool to watch. Um, his I, combat looks interesting. Which go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Well, not. one thing I find is so like I was I was watching a video from um, Inside Gaming and they were talking about like it's really interesting. So they, they show that the plot of the game is that, like, Captain America dies, like, right at the beginning of the game, right? Why do you, you... You with me? I am. I just... Every time I hear Captain America dies, it makes me sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like... You just froze for a second. I didn't know what was going on. But, like... Realistically... He had, like, a whole moveset of, like, combos and stuff he could do. Like, an entire moveset... He's got to come back in the game. Like or later is it on. a different Captain America? Like, why would you spend all that time animating a character that's going to be gone after the first mission and never come back? You know what I mean? Oh, I know. You know, Cap also did say Hell Hydra in the books. But, like... He said that in the movie, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, But, yeah, like... I, I, I saw that, and I was like... Well, man, if he if you play as him and he's got like a whole like set of like attacks and stuff he can do, then like you'll probably get to play as him later on in the the story. I don't know mm -hmm. what's gonna happen in the story that brings him back, but so I did not get to see that footage. I only got to see Thor, Thor, Iron Man, and Hulk. I didn't get to see the Captain yeah. America. So I had the same thing until I watched that Inside Gaming video where they had more footage. I guess another person had footage or something. Oh. And Slinky it looked Slinky. slick. Like, Captain America's footage looked really cool, too. There's a there's a moment where he, he throws the shield, it hits someone, it comes back, and Cap kicks the shield back and it hits somebody else. That's cool. <laughs> oh it was God. sick. Like, I was like, oh, damn, that's cool. I feel um, like I'm about to get hit in the face with a shield. Yeah, it, it, was, it was slick. So, I when I watched the footage, I actually, the only... The only fighting I didn't like was Iron Man's. That was about See, it. I didn't I, like Thor's. Which is surprising to me. Because when I looked at Thor, I was like, wow, that reminds me of God of War. Oh, that's the, It looked like discount God of War. That's what bugged me. 
That's it was like discount. It was like, oh, clearly they fucking played God of War and were like, oh, we could do this and like just did it. For like, me, that was oh, I'm okay with that. If it's a mechanic I like already and you're going uh, to do it, we're cool with that. <laughs> you know, it's, you're like this is God of War. I'm like this is shitty God of War. <laughs> I don't like, care, man. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Like we were talking about that before you got here. I was like sitting there. I was like, I don't understand how Eric did not like that. It's God yeah. of War. But then I saw Iron Man's and I was like, dude, he fucking like did the cool like little 360 like propulsion blast thing. He's got the unibeam uh, blast attack and stuff. Like it looks slick. Like I liked it. Um, I thought Iron Man's was cool because it, it really felt like him. I watched the Iron Man stuff and I was like, how is he not killing these people? Like they're just dudes. Like and the same with the Hulk. Like. I, I'm like I'm like the, the, these people are getting slaughtered. <laughs> Fictional characters, Eric. Fictional <laughs> characters. What weird sign language is that? <laughs> I Mark? don't know. You can't see it, but Mark's doing some weird voodoo shit right now. <laughs> this is not The Witcher yet. Um, oh god, no, no. See, I, 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 I was excited. I guess me, I'm just thrilled that like it looks like a decent interpretation of the mm-hmm. Avengers in a video game. You know what I mean? I no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I, I, I will say this: I am more interested in the game now than I was at the watching the E3 conference. Um, because now I have an idea of what gameplay is like, and I'm also aware that like, so that the footage that they showed clearly looks very like straightforward. You're on like a track. You're you know, but that's also the first level, and it's supposed to be establishing how the game plays. Yeah. So I'm yeah. hoping the other levels are more open. Well, this also is what they said pre-alpha. Yes, it's pre-alpha. It's so pre-alpha. It's still pre-alpha. Yeah. The, the one thing that bothers me though is that they have they they've they've gone on record saying that there are no plans to change the way they look visually. My poor Black Widow. Uh, Black Widow oh, looks, looks like a dude. I I think I feel so bad. My biggest complaint is Captain America. He just looks like a fucking dad in a SWAT uniform. Now here now, now here's the thing though is that is that they they said you're going to be able to customize your characters. Yeah. Did but you see the, the leaked Hulk? No. But does that mean like just the outfits or? Well, hopefully it does. It's like cap. complete skins. Uh, okay. So like I saw leaked footage or leaked uh, pictures of an alternate Hulk outfit, which is Joe Fixit, which looked really good. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen Joe Fixit. No, I haven't. No. Uh, but I could just imagine. Do you know what I'm referring to? Like no he, idea. Oh. No idea. What you're me? Referring. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm being serious. It's literally I don't know all the lore, so like, don't crucify me if I'm, I'm saying this wrong, internet. But so like, he's essentially like a mob boss type oh. outfit going on. He's got like a, a pinstripe suit, and uh, I think like a like a fedora type deal. But he's he's wearing that. It's 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 pretty yeah. It's pretty okay, legit. I can I I remember the I remember that one now. Um, oh, Jesus. <laughs> No, uh, for me, I'm excited. I'm, it's not going to be a day one. Oh, purchase. is that it? There it is. There it is. Can I look at it real quick? Beautiful. Uh, well, 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 it's uh, the Hulk. Yeah, we'll it, throw a picture. Wonderful. We'll throw a picture up right now. <laughs> yeah. Like of Joe Fix at Hulk. Like yeah, what's yeah. up with his face? It looks like he's a. a now that pug. is that is not the official skin that's going in the game, but that is the comic uh, picture. There, there's a way to see the actual um, the skin itself that's going to go in the game, but. Um, <clears throat> There was that, and then, a, a, like, a, he has, like, some war paint on his face as another skin. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to see Red Hulk. I would like to see, yeah, because they did Grey Hulk in the Ang Lee movie. Hulk, which... Te- they did Grey Hulk in the Ang Lee one? Yeah, um, Nick Nolte played Grey Hulk. I thought Nick Nolte... He, he play, Nick Nolte played a... He didn't play like a. He just played like a different. He played like some villain. I can't remember. From what I remember correctly, he was Gray Hulk. I really want to Google this because I, I Google I, it. I, Google I'm, it. I'm gonna say because like some Joe of the backlash was like what they did to Gray Hulk. Hulk. Because he was supposed to be like Banner's dad or something. Yeah, he was Banner's dad. Uh, Angly Hulk villain. Absorbing man. That's Absorbing who he was. Man? Absorbing okay. man. Yeah. yeah okay. Was, then never mind. I'm Hulk. wrong. I, th- um, I would like to see Grey Hulk. I mean, we got Abomination, which Abomination to me was cool. Yeah. Um, but Hulk's like, Hulk's like villains. Mm-hmm. They don't have like great ones. I think the best villains he's had was like. They tried to tease the leader at, at the end of the, the 
the Hulk yeah. movie. We're getting really sidetracked. You are really, really yeah, sorry. Like <laughs> you, that's you fucking the... can't be throwing Ang Lee Hulk at me. I'm sorry, dude. That was and a dark sorry. time for Marvel. Which the this edit, is why the I'm edit quiet. With, I don't know what the heck's the going edit, on. The You've never edit seen with the, the, the original, no. like the it's, just it's, the yeah. Hulk movie no. with Eric Bana as Bruce Banner. Yeah, that shit's rough. That's what we dealt with before the MCU took over. And then like, but the, do you know the edit was not bad? The one where Ang Lee did the comic book edit, where like they actually had comic book transitions. Okay, wait. <laughs> So there's that one bit. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's get back. Let's get back to the game. I want to say this last thing because <laughs> you say that, but there's that one bit where the dude's trying to inject the Hulk with something, and the bomb goes off, and yeah. it freeze frames and like cuts him out as an outline. Yeah. That shit is tacky. No, <laughs> that, fantastic. that shit is garbage. It's fantastic. We're moving on. We're moving on. Jesus. <laughs> That shit was not cool. So anyway, May 2020. Is it May 2020? That, sure. Uh, oh, Avengers, on. Marvel Avengers. May 15, 2020. I wrote Thank down that. May 15, 2020. She and has I, her handy so, dandy notebook. And I do. We'll get more information as time progresses on uh, the alpha that shall be the end product of this game. So, so from what I also read, you can pre-order beta access too. Woo! It's got to be better than Anthem's beta, right? Hopefully. <laughs> no shit, right? Also, one other thing they announced at this one was the fact that you have to play the single story campaign because it's a single player campaign. Mm. But once you get through it, they have, as you play through it, you get multiplayer options to save the world. It's four player, up to yeah, four. Yeah, up to four. I see. <sighs> and then you could customize them and pick out, like, because it's basically you're going to have, like, a tree or something that you can, like, <laughs> power up certain attacks and things like that and then you can go online with your little team with your team okay that's what i, I read i don't understand like mm. i need them to break down <laughs> how the single player and the multiplayer go hand in hand like i'm so confused on I, how I this is honestly to think they're two different games i honestly think it's like the multiplayer is a thing and the single single player story is the story the mm. multiplayer is the protecting the world yeah i guess it's kind of like the single players like the story of the game and then from those you unlock the characters Mm -hmm. and then you can build yourself a team to go on to like to go to the multi uh the multiplayer online and play against other players and save the world and things like that yeah i think that's going to be a whole different one okay i want them to be like straight up this is its own entirely separate thing, and then the single player is its own entirely separate thing. Like, tell me there are two storylines for this, and it will make sense to me. But like, they're like, oh yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna do the single player story, but then like, there's also this multiplayer thing you can do, and you can like get characters and stuff, and you play it together, and then you gonna, can go play single player again if you want. I don't like. Cool. I'm gonna laugh if all of a sudden they come out. Well, the multiplayer's battle royale oh no <laughs> yeah oh, <laughs> no I'll be really upset i don't think, I think Square everybody Enix will do be it. upset about that um but when, um when bethesda was like yeah that's right we put battle royale on a fallout game how Go many people are playing it? <laughs> <laughs> but i do i do like how they like kept the release date for the actual game kind of like place tribute to when they actually release the movies in the marvel universe well, like everything's in may Oh yeah, it's it's comic book day. It's, it's, oh, is it comic? Yeah. Book? So what oh. it is is free. Yeah, it's comic day. Uh, they always re- they release a Marvel movie or on like around free comic day. I that's know why that. they. That's why they. I that's why all that. like the major tiles release at the beginning of May. That I makes know a that. Lot that of makes sense. a lot of more sense. The more you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you, Mark. Um. But yeah. No, I'm I'm excited about that. Um, I'm uh, I'm lukewarm. You're lukewarm. Yeah. I'm better than I was. I thought you were Eric. <laughs> That too, I'm both. I'm glad we finally got gameplay because now I kind of have an idea of what the game's about. <laughs> or at least I know I'm not going to be like first person shooter or like first person. It's all third because I suck at first person shooters. <laughs> you, you, you just need some practice. No. Because I will say this. You can ask Eric. Eric can attest. Whenever I first started like hanging out and everything like with these guys and playing online, I hated first person shooters. I was like, I am terrible at them. I am never going to be good at this. And now he tolerates them. Now, tolerate. now one bit. of my favorite games to play is freaking like The Division in Borderlands. Like most of the games I play now are first person shooters. Mm-hmm. So 
I thank I thank you, Eric. This is me <laughs> giving you something. You're welcome. <laughs> Take it and run with it. Okay. <laughs> um. So what else we got, bud? We have. Oh yeah, uh, it's also a, a lot of shit happened at, at Comic Con. Um, mm-hmm. they showed off the Netflix, the official trailer for the Netflix, um, the Witcher, Witcher show, which looks to me like it's heavily based off the books more than the yes, game. Yes. yeah, yeah, they they one hundred percent said this is in no in no way will it be like there will there be like reference to the game lore or anything like that. It, it is strictly the books. Um. Having never read the books, though, I'm still intrigued because I like mm-hmm. the characters themselves. I like Geralt as a character. Um, the trailer looked awesome. I'm really interested in that show. I like the trailer too. I don't like his wig. Oh, I love it. I love, I love the wig. everything <laughs> about Henry Cavill. As Henry Cavill. Oh, I've, got, Geralt. I've got facts about him too. So D- okay, <laughs> about so, just for this role. <laughs> so. I'm, after I say this, then we'll let you get into your facts. The scene where he's sitting with the the the, the loincloth and thing, he's ripped. He's yes, he's ripped, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the wig looks like something on like like out of the eighties. The wig, uh, the wig in that shot is a little wonky. I will admit I mean, that. It was, Netflix I was could probably like, go in and edit that, edit that like they did yeah. with the coffee cup yeah. with Game of Thrones. But yeah, they yeah. fucking ripped. Like, I had no idea because it doesn't look ripped. like that until that shot. And I'm like, holy shit. He's been that ripped since Superman. True, true, true. Um, but can we like, can we just say how well, even though it's not based off me coming from just playing The Witcher 3, the li- very little that I did because I got stuck, but like how well the characters look like they did. Some of them for Butcher Three, like Gerald, Siri. Did I say her name right? I want to go back to you. You said Gerald. Wrong. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald. Well, look, there Gerald. you go. Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You can. Like she said, Who's she only part? played a little bit. I only yeah, played yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I got stuck. I just love like, that you're like, you're like Gerald. Uh, did I say Siri right? <laughs> <laughs> hey Siri. <laughs> How do you say that? Siri. Jennifer. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so Yennefer, uh, Yennefer's backstory or whatever seems com- could be completely different than the, from the books of the game. So I was I was watching the trailer and I was like, is Yennefer like evil or something? I was getting like bad vibes from her. Why is her name Yennefer? I don't that, know. I don't that's know. Like, that's just her. Why is her name Geralt? All right, why is that Gerald? His horse's Gerald. name Roach. Nothing <laughs> makes sense, Mark. <laughs> but like, I it's kinda, a TV show. <laughs> I did like how they kind of like progressed her character though, because like, um, because she is a. From what I was reading, she's a sorceress. Yes. And like a lot of time in like the lore of The Witcher, the sorceress they would have like these deformities and things like this, but with their magic they can like make their appearance look better and better as their magic gets stronger. So is you, that what's going on? Because yeah, I was I like, think, she's got this weird jaw thing Yeah, that's going how on. she looked at the first. Okay. And then as she got better okay. in magic, her appearance... At least that's what I read, maybe? Magic. Cool. Magic. Maybe. Magic. It's a thing. Um, I know. I, I, I'm intrigued to see what comes from this. Definitely Netflix needs something, but... <laughs> the, the last shot was uh, the last shot of Geralt, like oh, with the black eyes and shit. It was really cool. I'm, I'm assuming he took some because he, like when you play the game, when you take the potions and stuff, he gets more sickly looking because mm-hmm. he has all the, the the potion stuff in his body. Oh. I'm assuming that's what what was going on in that shot is that he stocked up on potions before he fought the. He just the chugged them all yeah, down. Chugged them all. If and, I remember correctly, in the game, you like there was different potions that did different things to get through different areas, or they all just had the same kind of adverse effect. No, they so like they they had like decoctions, and then there was also um, there other potions and stuff that do different things. So yeah, okay. Okay, um, I was just I just wanted to see if I made made sure I had that right because I think that they're they're probably going to bring that into the show. Yeah, because it would um, make sense if they didn't. Uh, so like a couple of differences between the games and the movies. Um, you mean the books? The, oh, sorry, yeah, the <laughs> games and the books. Um, so Geralt does have two swords, but he keeps his Witcher sword on Roach, his horse, uh, in the books. In the game, he carries them on his back. Um, also, his wolf medallion mm-hmm. is is different in the game as it is opposed to the books. The books is more rounded, and the yeah, the books it's just like a, a flat, like rounded medallion, which makes um, more sense. Yeah, and then in the game it's like this actual like 
I don't know what you would call it. It's just more like it's like a actual like wolf head. It's the head of a yeah. wolf cut off from um, the wolf's body. Hanging well, from I came his across. Neck. Not exactly. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> this morning I came across something that's like, well, this isn't anything like the game. And it was roach in the series on the ground and then roach in the witcher the game like oh floating in the, in the air yeah i saw that it cracked me up um, i was like my goodness yeah no uh no i'm really excited to see and it might incline me to to read the book too because I've, I've been wanting to read the book ben? I, ben says they're really good yeah well it's, it's interesting like I, I wonder if the the author's gonna get like more royalties out of this so the whole thing with the games was that he sold off the rights to the game like to for them to make the game for pretty cheap because he didn't think it would do well and then when it blew up he was like oh i want more money and cd project red was like no, no. you sold it to us for this price you know like you, you can't get more money now just because it's successful this is not how we this made works. it better than what you thought it was going to be um so i i don't know how that's working with i imagine he was like yeah I, I imagine the the author was probably like, yeah, I, I want more money out of this <laughs> out of this movie, this show series. So um, it looks like we're only gonna have like eight episodes out of it. That's fine. That's fine. And, and they're about an, the same way. They're they're about an hour long. Eight that's episodes. good. That's good. The main so. the main reason that's good is because Netflix has this habit of like wanting to extend out their shows longer than they need to. Like. Case in point, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's shows, the Marvel shows they had on there, mm. they would do like thir- 13 episodes of like, let's say like Jessica Jones and like three episodes of them were like, did we really need that? Those did are the it fillers. the story? We don't, don't need it though. I don't, I don't know, man. Daredevil. No, Daredevil. Every, like Daredevil was just perfect. Every yeah. single episode I fucking cared about. There was one episode where it showed... Um, I think it's Jessica's past, not Jessica's past. Um, Karen's past, where like showed like her past life, what happened, why she ended up in. New oh York. yes, that episode was not needed. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it for what it was because I cared about the characters, so it was good to get like a backstory as to why like, you know, whatever like her path led her to where she is and stuff. Um, I I liked it. So, do we <laughs> think that season one is going to be like? I don't know how many how many books are there of The Witcher. There's quite a few, right? I do not know. I do not know. I don't know. I, I, I think there's quite a few. So do we think season one's going to be like just book one? Or like um, all of it, all of the books in one? Because that, that is I a think lot it's supposed to, to be just eight. like the beginning just stuff. Just the beginning. From what I heard. Yeah, I think it's going to just, it has to set up. Definitely the first few episodes are going to set up like what the world is because there's a lot of people that know what The Witcher is and there's a lot of people that don't. There's a lot mm-hmm. of people that are going to watch it just because they saw Henry Cavill look all ripped up, you know. I mean, they it's have Superman. To... <laughs> but which... Deep breath, Tiff. Deep breath, Tiff. I mean, wait, he is Superman. <laughs> you you said you had some facts about. Yeah. So actually, Henry. Uh... He's actually not using a stunt devil. He's done all his stunts. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. For this. I got all these from trivia from IMDb. Um, and he's actually played all the games and read all the books before. That's so cool. he is super familiar with yeah. the lore and things like that. that I also heard he played it multiple times. He played yes. the, the third one like multiple times. And of course, this is his best physique that he that he's been in, in his whole life for this role. That's awesome. Like he got should. more ripped for Geralt than he did for Superman. Fully covered for Superman. Geralt. Oh, that's true. Geralt, you had to, apparently you have to have like the toga going the toga. on. Yeah, that's how I it guess. Works. And um does anybody know who does who did his like Geralt's voice in the games? Oh man, I used to remember his name. Um, hey, Alexa. Who does Geralt's voice in the Witcher games? <laughs> I tried. I tried. So, all right, all right, one more time, <laughs> Alexa. Who is the voice actor for The Witcher? The Witcher was composed by Pavel Blaschczak. Fuck off, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> Alexis. We tried. We, yeah, we tried. tried. So, I kind of like read something like. I don't know if the guy like he's. It starts with a J, and I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his name. Gerald. Nope. <laughs> That's Gerald. Gerald. But one of the... I don't know if he did all the voice actors for 
the Witcher games, or if he only did a few, he actually also played Superman in the, he was the voice actor for Superman in one of the DC Justice Leagues in, I think it said 2001. Oh, that was the cartoon. That was, yeah, um, it was in the cartoon. So yeah. now Henry and the voice actor for Gerald yeah. in the games have two both roles plays, in common. They both played Superman. They both played Superman and they both played Gerald. So who's like born to play this role? Tiffany. I don't. <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> it's Gerald. Fuck you. It's good. It's spelt that way. It's uh, really pronounced that way. I'm American. <laughs> Internet's going to be pissed. I'm that's terrible fun. at pronunciations. No, cool. no, I'm fine. sorry. I just give you a hard time. But yeah, mm. those are kind of like a couple of little facts that I found. Neat. Yeah, I'm super stoked for this game. This game. This movie. For this <laughs> TV so, series. So, God so, damn it. I can't think about For this uh, I'm manga. So, I can't, I'm so stoked I can't even say what it is. It's okay. But um, I'm actually excited too. and I'm, I haven't read the books, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, yeah. So, what else you guys want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah. The It trailer looks cool. Oh, <laughs> screw it! <laughs> it did look cool. I, I still nope. need to. I still need to watch the the first one. Mm-mm. I don't do clowns. You don't do clowns. I don't do. It is the reason I don't do clowns. Remember, it the, is the reason you don't do clowns. Yep. You remember the the where they had that phase where like clowns were just walking around, yes. like, trying oh, to scare people and yeah. shit. And and then it stopped because one dude pulled out a knife and the cops were like, "No, we're not dealing with this." <laughs> like, yeah, no, we're done. Promptly with this. dealt with him. But yeah, no, it is like I think I watched it like the very first one when oh, I was the kid. Tim Curry mm-hmm. one. The, the, Yes, I don't know. Super, it was creepy to me, super scary, and I've never liked clowns since. That's, hey, that's fair. That's fair. It's like I can't deal with them, so I'm never watching it. Dwayne loves it, but I'm not. I'm like, you can go watch it. Go watch it. Go be you. <laughs> be free. Get it away from me. Exactly. Just go. Um, I let it live on the bookshelf, and that's about as close as it's getting in the house. <laughs> Pennywise. I got, little, <laughs> I got a little comic book stuff, like Marvel announced. Uh, Marvel Comics announced that they're bringing back like new X Men books mm-hmm. and kind of like splitting up into four, four like heavy titles. Here's here's a question. Yeah. How do they when they like kill off characters? How do they end up bringing them back? Is it a whole new universe? Is it uh, a whole they new figure story? out they, they figure out ways to do somehow? it. They retcon magic. Magic. They retcon like Wolverine. Magic. Apparently, like uh, he came back as a beast like like he was able to come back he was preserved but he came back as like this beast of a person before he like came back to who so he was so they just reset him they kind of reset him um push the reset button but okay. marvel has this tendency to bring new books or characters back when they're about to like announce them in their movies like um like blade we'll take blade so this year Blade uh-huh. has was did you know that Blade became an Avenger in the comic books this year? No. I did not, but that makes so much sense. Did you know that they had a, a one-off book called Blade versus Wolverine this year? Oh, that's cool. It, it seems cooler than it was. <laughs> that's sad. <laughs> but it's like it's Wolverine and Blade fighting vampires. I mean like it oh, is, okay. you know, that's so. not very versus that's a, yeah. That's what I was it like. Was, mm. They had like one moment in the book where like uh, because like someone point there was this poke somebody. there was this uh, this sigil that they see of this uh, this this prophecy, and it's a picture of Blade and a picture of someone who looks like Wolverine mm-hmm. fighting each other, right? Mm. And so like all of a sudden they both seen it, so they both think, oh wait, I need to kill this person to re- make sure nothing bad happens. And to find out, they created a whole nother person off of Wolverine's DNA. Oh. And that was the person they needed to fight. Gotcha. But it's always like, Wolverine's DNA that creates uh, a new yeah. person. Yeah, always. so they had like they had like three pages in the book of Wolverine and Blade fighting. And they're like, wait a minute. They had that whole moment. It's like, Martha? You know, they, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, they had a Martha Stupid moment in the moment. book. And like, oh, we figured this out. Why did you say her name? <laughs> so stupid. Everything about that fucking movie. Um, no, but yeah. So, um, so like that's why. Like, okay, obviously, they're doing a Blade movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, X Men. They're now rebuilding 
the X-Men universe mm. in comic form because they're about to do, because they said like a, a thing with the studios, they're going to be doing X-Men, uh, bringing mutants into the MCU. Not wait. Which that's like what the Eternals, the reason they're doing the Eternals is because the Eternals is going to explain how the mutants are here. Which, side note, when I think of actors who are going to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Angelina Jolie is the last person I think of. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't think about like those like really big actors doing shit like that. Like, no, uh, the last like per- it'd be like Tom Cruise playing somebody in the MCU. You know what I mean? Last yeah. person, last person that I would think to be in the MCU would be Kamal, that guy, Kamil, Kamal Jamani or whatever. The guy who's in Stuber, he did the big sick. <laughs> you are saying words and I don't know what they mean. <laughs> They're movies. Well, it's, it's, it's a comedic, it's a comedic sick, stand-up but... actor that okay. does a lot of writing that you would never expect him to be in a Marvel movie and yeah. they have him in that movie. Okay. But I don't know. It's so like, to me, it just seems like Marvel right now is very much like bringing their comics that they've written specifically for the purpose of bringing to a movie mm-hmm. and do the storyline. But, um, so are they just going to scrap the X-Men movies that are like, that yes. are already out? I mean, granted, oh, yeah. they just get, progressively worse but they don't matter anymore that train wreck that's... has ended the mm. dark phoenix came out and that's the end of it <laughs> uh, that's all you thank need to god. know god because jesus christ I, i'm not even gonna bother watching it i may rent it <clears throat> so there's one other thing did you know that god is a character in the MC- in the marvel comic books are you serious what yeah god is a character in the marvel comic books and people really want Keanu Reeves to play him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Reportedly, they have tried to get Keanu Reeves for almost every single MCU movie. They just haven't found like a good role for him to play yet. God. Oh, yeah. God is God it is. <laughs> though though he would have to fight Morgan Freeman for that role. Mm, true. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm Morgan Freeman. Mm. Yeah, he would. We see how that goes. <laughs> um but you know uh i can't wait for like the the x and god just do fantastic four justice please yes don't give me another origin story the, the fact that the original fantastic four movie is way superior to the reboot one is sad it's really sad because that original fantastic four movie oh, was bad man. yes I remember. I remember. I went to see the the Rise of the Silver Surfer. That was the first movie I went to see when I went when I moved to Orlando, mm-hmm. and it was the first time I went to a theater that had an HD projector. <gasps> Don't waste that on that garbage. And I was just like, <laughs> we're all just sitting in there, like, oh my god, it's so clean, it's so crystal clear. What is this? It's like a mirror. Oh, it's, but it's so, you know, the movie's so bad though. It's so terrible. Um, I've never seen any of them. You're, you're lucky. <laughs> If you're gonna have drinks one night, watch that. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's. Mm. No, I'm just. I'm excited. I thought this year. I, for me, I thought this year's Comic Con had like a lot of good stuff. You know, they had a lot to show off. They they also, I mean, they they had to though, because if you think about it, like the like what how, over ten years of build up is mm-hmm. over. So then they'd be like, okay, well, what happens now? So then they had to tease off like a bunch of shit. We that have was 10 things, 10, 10 things in two years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think about that. Yeah. They have 10, 22 movies over 10 years, almost pretty much like 10 movies in two years. I, I love how like they just, as the years go by, they're becoming more and more aware that like. They can just fucking put anything on film and we're going to go see it. Yep. Oh, so yeah. now they're Opening getting like night. more out there it, it, with like the, like, I have no idea. What is it? Like Shang-Chi? What is it called? Oh, Shang-Chi and the, and and the, the Ten Rings. Like, I have no Wait, idea what, what is that, that is, but I'm going to go see it. Hey, it's, what is this? That's a movie that's going to be coming out yeah. where they're actually going to give us the, the, the Mandarin. Mandarin. Oh, okay. Uh, Well, the Mandarin is the back, is the villain. Yeah. So, yeah, but Shang, Shang, I think it's Shang-Chi. Uh, I'm not familiar. I think with the it's comic book. Well. I'm not familiar with the comic book storyline, uh, but it's like he's this mythical. It's going to be a ninja movie. Yeah. So I'm about it. I'm about it too. Just like you know, Doctor Strange is going to be a horror movie. I'm about that. Is it going to be a horror movie? Yeah. So wait, it's, when the is main this coming nightmare. out? Nightmare. Mm. When is this Shang Chi movie coming out? 2021. 20, okay, because I was like, he 
do you really want to put it up there with the Mulan reboot coming out next year? It's going to be an all Asian cast. Yeah. So. You know, I'm excited. Cool. They're doing crazy rich Asians with it. Cool. I actually have all the dates here. Um, <laughs> Throws it aside. <laughs> Tries to open it. Does I, not. I have info. I have Fuck info. Fuck it. I'm not sure if you guys deserve it. It's going to it's gonna make noise. I was, I was live tweeting. I was like watching Twitter live, <laughs> refreshing it every few seconds. I was like, wait, what's that? Oh, ooh. Uh, yep, that, yeah, oh, that, there. yeah, it was like constant news. Um, oh, I was confused. I thought you were literally like live tweeting. No, no, no. I was like <laughs> watching Twitter, refreshing it. He was stalking. He was I live was stalking. stalking. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting that uh, <clears throat> I think it's interesting that David Haber, who did a Harbor, Harbor, David Harbor, who did a DC movie, mm-hmm. uh, Hellboy, yes, is doing a Marvel movie. DC isn't Hellboy. It's Vertigo. Vertigo, Vertigo owns DC. I thought DC. it was Dark Horse. I thought it was Dark Horse. And Dark Horse is still DC, I thought. Mm-mm. My Google. Google. I could be wrong. I believe it's a Dark Horse comic, which... Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yep, you are correct. I am wrong. Oh, it's okay. Um, I gotta, I gotta fill in the shoes of Kelly since she's not. Here. It's okay. <laughs> she's, she's always quick to be like, um, "No, that's not right." Nah. No, no, no. So I think it's interesting he's going back into another comic book movie like that after Hellboy was so. Yeah, yeah. but. And to be switching like. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, that looked cool. Uh, the Hawkeye series looked cool. Um, Thor: Love and Thunder, mm-hmm. another Thor movie gonna be i really hope it plays well and it's not gonna continue like it's all gonna be new stories i hope so i hope that ytd can direct jane foster's character in a way that Makes is sense. enjoyable to watch because i found her character to be really boring in in the and very the helpless original, yeah like damsel in distress kind of deal so like I do believe in him to make it work. Yeah. I'm just really curious how he's going to make it work. Yeah. <clears throat> so I want to I want to bring up one thing with Thor, Love and Thunder. I'm a geek when it comes to graphic design. Oh. And that freaking logo, logo is sick. <laughs> is so amazing. It makes me just want to like put on a pair of spandex pants, grab a polka dotted guitar, and start playing 80s hair metal. It's freaking fantastic. It, it is really, <laughs> it's a really nice logo. Um, probably, yeah, probably the best one of all, all the logos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, apparently, the um, a lot of people like the Hawkeye logo because it's it's actually the comic book. Yeah, the comic logo. book that's going on right now. The, that logo, so <clears throat> that's I'm, neat. I, I think the first thing I thought about when I saw the Thor logo was. I think it's like he like a He Man logo. From yeah, way back it is in the very He Man ish. I was like, I hope I'm saying that right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very He Man ish. He Man ish. He Man ish. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first thing. I was like, okay, we're gonna go back to the He Man like style, the eighties. I'm I'm all about it. Yeah. So pretty mm-hmm. much, you know, I, I, because we're bringing this the podcast, we're wrapping it up and stuff like that. Uh, pretty much from San Diego Comic Con, Marvel like just brought, you know, hey, Paul H was popping. Yep. Paul H was popping for Marvel, and Marvel just said, you know what? Here's everything we got. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I mean, now it makes me more. wonder. Now it makes me wonder what yeah, they're going to release. You don't have to tell me it. twice to spend my money on Marvel stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling at D twenty three, the stuff he kind of like just brought up at the end is going to be released at D twenty three. Wouldn't surprise me. Like yeah. so, like so, they're saving. Like, yeah, we're now saw this stuff, and guess what, people? We, we got more. We got more. <laughs> My name's Kevin, Sick. and I'm about to rock your world. <laughs> My name's Kevin, and I have fuck you money. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's coming early this year. Um. So yeah, no, I I I enjoyed the San Diego Comic Con stuff. Um, San Diego Comic Con was really fun for looking this year. <laughs> Uh, one year we'll make it one year we'll go it is fun for looking (laughs) it's fun looking um i guess uh as we you know we usually wrap these things up we kind of just go around and ask what are you playing eric what are you playing no man's sky which i will be streaming tonight by the time you hear this this uh podcast it'll have been done already but i plan on streaming that tonight he's streaming it tuesday night yeah 
In the uh, past. In the past. Ooh. You can watch it again at any time. At Some your people leisure. call it an archived video, but you Aha! Aha! I don't know. I just felt like something. I, cool. <laughs> uh, Tiffany, what have you been playing? I actually have not been playing anything. I've actually been reading. <laughs> I've been reading the uh, Throne of Glass series, which is pretty awesome. That's cool. Yeah, it's a epic fantasy fairy tale thingy. So definitely check it out if you're into those things. Cool. How Young so adult. Cool. I mean, you know, it's not as um, detailed as some of the books We're are. We're in like the Twilight zone yeah but it's Not better the twilight than twilight <laughs> twilight <laughs> but poor choice twilight. of words that's an actual sparkling thing. vampires <laughs> so i haven't been really playing any video games lately i haven't had anything to catch my eye i got you i, I kind of feel you on that like i kind of i saw eric was the other day playing no man's sky maybe jump in it and made me realize oh yeah i do miss just flying around aimlessly in space but i am excited because i am the harvest moon person like i loved all the harvest moon farming simulators and xc games <laughs> announced that they're coming back with one of the most hit series more friends of mineral town under their story of seasons game it's going to be released in japan in november but we're waiting for a north american date so i'm excited for that neat that's cool i'm super excited um <laughs> i guess yeah. I love it. i'm gonna be doing i've been playing a little bit of no man's sky um on Tuesday, on Tuesday, we streamed it, which Getting those is technically units. today when we're recording it. So like after this, um, that uh, I'm playing through my third playthrough of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Jesus, Dude, my goodness, play a new game, man. Please. <laughs> well, okay, so like, <laughs> no, I'm I'm shit on yeah, you. Yeah, I, I, I you, you love are, it. I you. love it. I mean. Well, like, I played it once through with Alucard. Actually, I played it twice through with Alucard, and now I'm playing it through with Axe Knight. Okay. So like you change the name of the character yeah, you and, it, and like, that. yeah, it could become a different character. So now I'm playing it through with Axe Knight mm-hmm. and then like, I want to play it through with, with Richter Belmont, which apparently is like legendary hard mode. Oh yeah. Huh. So do, it's like changes the attacks and everything. Yeah. Well, you're a totally different character. You're to- so okay. like Alucard in the game is a vampire. He's part okay. vampire, part human. So he has like some special powers and all that kind of stuff. Richter Belmont's just a human. He has like this this enchanted whip, and he picks up other little things along the way, but like he's just a human, so like he can't do like super jumps or anything like that. So mm-hmm. it makes the game more difficult when you play through it as him. But um, no, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with that. I hundred percented it. I did hundred percent it. Nice. Um, which was a pain in the ass because you have to like hundred percenting it doesn't mean like oh you got everything you got everything in game it means you you found every bit of the map mm-hmm. like there's no more for fine you found every hidden thing but yeah no, I've, had, I've been having a lot of fun with that game and I need to find another Metroidvania S style so I'm about to probably pick up Bloodstained to play uh, that John's one enjoying that mm-hmm. but yeah I mean that's a uh, I gotta say you know I thought that was pretty good Tiffany thank you for joining us today yeah I- you know, I enjoyed it. I always Thanks like for having you, me. when you come in for this thing. Because <laughs> I'm rarely doing anything. <laughs> um, I know next week uh, I'm going to be out on vacation. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to be mm. in Cozumel, Grand Cayman, and Jamaica. Neat. I want to just hand out packed house things. It's like, right. I know you can't understand what we're saying, but they have subtitles on YouTube. And the next time we'll see Mark, he will be a crawfish. <laughs> I don't turn red. No, I don't. No burn. Yeah. yeah, like okay. So, side note before we end this thing. <laughs> so, the last two times I've been like to the beach or anything, I didn't put suntan lotion on. Right. Lucky. Okay. Death wish. Got got a little bit of a tan, no sunburn. Hmm. And I was just like, how is this possible? Yeah, I burn real easy. I burn I'm, terrible. I'm a, I'm a peeler. You're a peeler. I'm a peeler. No. No. <laughs> it sounds like even your stomach yeah, agrees with that. Like, <laughs> no. I don't like those sounds. Well, okay. All right. Well, yeah. So, um, but yeah, no. So, you guys uh, have a good one. My, this is the end of the podcast. My name is Mark. I'm Tiffany. I'm Eric. And we will see you when we see you. Later. Bye. Bye.